industry, there's parking lots, and uh, you know that this was such a historic piece of ground. The debate over a Walmart in Green Bay's Broadway district has some calling for portions of the proposed site to be preserved. While the retailer alters its plan for downtown history may not be on Walmart's side. No, the site under consideration is where the old Fort Howard once stood. And some dislike the idea of it being covered up by a big box retailer's parking lot. But could there be room for both? Fox 11's Bill Miston looks at the delicate balance of redevelopment. A plaque roughly marks the area where Fort Howard once stood. Not far away, spray paint marks the suspected location of the early 19th century fort's southeast corner. And beyond that, over the railroad tracks and a parking lot to the northwest, a Walmart could soon be a part of the horizon. Last month, Walmart unveiled its proposed idea for this property, build a 150,000 square foot one-story store and have about 640 parking spaces coming up to about this area. And it's where those proposed parking spaces would go that isn't sitting well with some. Once it's gone, it's gone. Jeff Gialdini is a local real estate agent with a fondness for history. Gialdini isn't against development. He just wants to see as much of the Fort Howard location preserved for educational green space as possible. Well, I don't like the idea that there'd be a parking lot going over the Fort Howard grounds. Green Bay is a significant player in the development of American history. Fort Howard historian Tim Brum says the fort was integral to the protection of a fledgling America. To deter the British, it was, it was so interesting with the War of 18, 1812, when we look at this land here, the Northwest Territory, American in name. French and British forts preceded Fort Howard's construction in 1816. A center for commerce and industry, it eventually grew to be about three acres in size before being abandoned in the 1860s. When the community had developed up and the military presence wasn't needed, they were ready to get rid of it. Historical records and photos from the Neville Public Museum show the surrounding land became a stockyard and then a rail yard, major keys to industry and shipping through the 20th century. Now some say it's Walmart's turn. We hope so, and our customers hope so. We're really excited about the project. Walmart is revising its plan to address local needs, and Brum says the balance between paving the way for progress and preserving history will be a delicate one. In Green Bay, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. The business improvement group on Broadway Incorporated owns the land and has been courting Walmart. Walmart is expected to return to Green Bay in about two weeks with updated plans for both the Broadway site as well as several others Mayor Jim Schmidt has suggested in the city.